Hey guys, good morning from Leh and today is 13 July 2018 and time is 9.28 am. I hope it's visible. And I'm very glad to have you back in my channel once again. So finally the most awaited day has come and uh, today I'm going to world's highest motorable road that is Khadungla Top which is located at the altitude of 18,000 318 feet above sea level and it, this is the world's highest motor river where you can ride and drive It's a very proud moment and I was waiting for this from long long years and Finally, I'm standing here in Leh and we're gonna start our ride in about 10-15 minutes I can't wait to show you the beauty and also my experience uh, riding uh, to world's highest motor river road and the uh, weather is a little bad as I can see, uh, well I was expecting to be a little sunny but we have a patches of uh, blue sky and also uh, grey clouds. I'm not too sure if it's gonna rain. If it does then we are gone. Well yesterday I took uh, the passes uh, which you requires to get in Khardungla and uh, it will take around 3-4 to four hours to get there and uh, it's gonna be very very cold because the altitude is uh, 18,380 uh, feet above sea level. Khardunga will be the highest uh, uh, pass for me which I am going to ride. Last time I rode uh, it was uh, in Gurudungmar Lake. It's gonna be exciting and fun and a lot of adventure because the roads are not so good, not so bad. I'm not too sure because local says that you know it's gonna be a tough ride but I'm fine because I came here to do this and uh, I'm very much excited right now and Thiraj is uh, mounting his uh, tank bag and his saddle and also Rohit. Uh, I'm just uh, excited and also uh, ready to rock the world. Well I'm all set and time is 10 a.m. right now and we are leaving for Khadungla top to the world's highest motorable road. <laughs> We have a lot of foreigners uh, staying uh, in this road and uh, it's a nice place. I feel like I'm in Goa, like a lot of tourists and especially the percentage is uh, foreigner crowd. We have European, we have from Israel, we have American and mostly we have European here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode because this episode is going to be very very exciting and adventurous as you can see on the title that I am going to world's highest motorable road. Well, weather is very pleasant, it's around 20 degrees Celsius in Leh and the way we will move up towards Khadungla. I'm sure the temperatures will drop down drastically and it may go to 1 or 2 degrees Celsius as well because weather is not so good. If it is overcast and cloudy, I'm sure it's gonna be very very cold or it might snow also if we are lucky. We'll see that. So we are crossing the main bazaar in Leh and it's a nice tourist attraction especially in the evening. <laughs> Ladakh is a very very dry place and uh, there's no moisture and you are dehydrated very very fast. I love the shades there. Wow. So we reached petrol pump and as expected there are a lot of bikers who are filling petrol it's gonna be a long wait for sure well we are just done uh, filling uh, petrol and it was overcrowded it took half an hour and uh, we had to uh, take some cash out also from the ATM and I had to check my tire pressure too so that for three of us took half an hour <laughs> Oh wow, 
I think we have stayed somewhere there and uh, the entire city looks so beautiful well as you can see the roads are like this zigzag zigzag and we have to go like this to the top and I'm having a lot of fun riding here I'll just show you how the roads are like so you can see down there I'll just show it to you so this is how we came like this and see there are cars and bikes are coming so it's like a zigzag zigzag and climbing up 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 from here so it's very beautiful and trust me it's it's a blessing to be here and south pulu is 9 kilometers from here I'm not too sure if we're gonna get uh, anything to eat until we reach Khardungla. So, to be in a safer side, yesterday we got uh, sneakers which will help us to uh, survive in the high altitude if we have uh, less oxygen and uh, if we are hungry too. So, both ways it's a win win situation. <laughs> see there are cars and bikes which are going right there so if you fall from there goodbye from this planet so be cautious be careful be alert when you're riding here because roads are very narrow and uh, one mistake you're gone and also it is recommended that you shouldn't be staying at Khardungata for more than half an hour because of the altitude and if you stay longer there is high possibility that altitude will hit you so we'll see how long we're gonna take there because I want to spend a little time and also take good pictures <laughs> Well, we have stopped here to eat sneakers. We are hungry, we didn't get anything to eat. And I'm sure you will not find anything to eat at this area. As you can see, it's 60 degree. We have nothing. So this is for survival. Survival. I just passed. If you want to have sneakers right now, please rush. But after finishing this video. And also you can see, and also you can see Khardungla is 19 kilometers uh, from here. And it's gonna take one, one hour if we don't stop. It's very windy and cold. And the more we go up, it's gonna be very, very cold. And I love cold. I love winters. <laughs> We are in South Pulu and the altitude is 15,380 and we had breakfast here. We thought of uh, having it uh, in Khardungla but when we came here at the check post we found a small cafeteria. So we had Maggie and now we are climbing up to Khardungla. Khardungla is 14 kilometers from here. Well, I'm doing off-roading here. After South Pulu, the roads are not so good. And uh, since 5-6 kilometers, I'm riding on a road like this. And also, because of the altitude, I'm unable to speak much. Because I'm losing out my breath. As you can see, the condition of the road, <laughs> they are not at all good. This is not at all easy, trust me. 12,000 feet it's fine the moment you climb up more than 12,000 feet then it's a huge test of your body your mind and I love this <laughs> फिलहाल मौसम काफी खराब है और बहुत ज़्यादा डाक है। अपन लोग चल पड़े हैं, 
खाडूंगला टॉप की तरफ आई थिंक यहाँ से 10 किलोमीटर होगा खाडूंगला टॉप और 10 किलोमीटर चढ़ाई है अच्छी खासी फिर एक बार खाडूंगला हम लोग क्रॉस कर जाएंगे और नुमरा की तरफ जाएंगे तो वापस से हम लोग डिसेंड करेंगे नीचे की तरफ तो ऑल्टीट्यूड फिर से कम हो जाएगा बट फिलहाल चैलेंजिंग है रोड चैलेंजिंग है वेदर कंडीशन और जो स्पीड मैंने मेंटेन कर रखी है वो 20 से 30 के बीच में है इससे ज़्यादा यहाँ पे चला भी नहीं सकते हैं वेल गाइज आई हैव टू स्टॉप फॉर अ बेट एंड put the liners on because it started snowing some time back and my camera doesn't have the waterproof case so i had to keep my camera back inside the uh tank bag so now the weather is little better it's very very cold my hands are shivering right now i'm wearing surgical gloves thermal liner and minus 20 degree gloves still my fingers are numb and frozen i'm unable to move my fingers and it's hurting well we have reached khadungla top yes we have reached khadungla top i'm so happy wow we are at the highest motorable road in the world man this is crazy woo well as you can see There are a lot of bikes. I'm going to keep my bike there. I'm high five, bro. We made it. We made it. Thank you, my bike. Wow. This is it. This is king it. It says. Welcome you to the top of the world mighty Khadungla top which is 18380 feet Well right now I'm at Khadungla top and as you can see there are a lot of people behind me and they are capturing the moments Finally I have made it uh, to Khadungla from Bangalore it was a long long wait and long ride with lot of struggle and sacrifice and I'm so happy to be here and It's very cold. It's snowing out here a little bit, and people are going crazy behind me. And everybody wants to have a best picture. Well, I have Dheeraj here. Let me check कि क्या feel कर रहा है Dheeraj. कैसा लग रहा है? काफी अच्छा लग रहा है. Hardungla top world highest motorable road में पहुँच के और भी अपनी bike में. So काफी अच्छा मतलब out of the world वाला feeling है. ये Dheeraj की bike यहाँ पे है. ये मेरी bike है. बैंगलोर से सही सलामत पहुंच चुकी है मेरी बाइक खाडूंगा टॉप तक काफी प्राउड मोमेंट है हमारे लिए कैसा लग रहा है रोहित <laughs> और थोड़ी बहुत स्नोफॉल हो रही है यहाँ पे एंड मेरे हाथ जम चुके हैं आप देख सकते हो सफेद हो रखी है और ज्यादा टाइम यहाँ पे हम लोग रुक नहीं सकते बिकॉज बहुत ही हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड है और हमें यहाँ से निकलना पड़ेगा तो फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट हम लोग यहाँ से निकलेंगे बट इट्स द बेस्ट फीलिंग इन द वर्ल्ड I have Dheeraj here. He is enjoying. I have Rohit here, having good time. And also, we have got Indian flag out there. It's quite amazing to be here at the world's highest motorable road. It's a very proud moment for all three of us. It's incredible. Now we are leaving, and we're gonna go ahead. And good weather, sunshine is waiting for us. Bye bye, Khadungla. Hello, hi. So. अभी हम लोग खाडूंगला से निकल रहे हैं पीछे हमारे खाडूंगला टॉप का लैंडमार्क है और काफ़ी मज़ा आया यहाँ पे बहुत फोटो लिए बाय बाय और यहाँ पे बर्फ भी गिर रही थी थोड़ी देर पहले और टेम्परेचर बहुत लो है बट इट्स वर्थ एवरी सिंगल सेकेंड हियर बिकॉज द स्ट्रगल यू मेड रीचिंग एट दिस लैंडमार्क इज इनक्रेडेबल सो Now we will be descending down, so the altitude gonna get lesser. So we will feel much better. अभी तो नीचे जाना है तो जितना हम हम लोग नीचे जाएंगे उतना हमें बेटर फील होगा बिकॉज अभी तो हमारी उंगलियाँ जम के फालूदा हो चुकी है 
आप देख सकते हैं मेरे लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में स्नो है काफी पुरानी स्नो है ये आ, और काफी खूबसूरत है लोग यहाँ पे फोटो ले रहे हैं बट हम लोग नहीं रुकेंगे बिकॉज वी हैव सीन स्नो मैनी मैनी टाइम सो दैट्स फाइन एज यू कैन सी स्नो हि जब जब यहाँ पे बारिश होती है और बादल लगते हैं स्नोफॉल होती है एंड इट्स क्वाइट ऑबियस एट दिस ऑल्टीट्यूड बिकॉज ठंड काफ़ी है हाइट ज़्यादा है रोड काफ़ी ख़राब है काफ़ी ज़्यादा तो स्पीड मेंटेन करना काफ़ी मुश्किल है और मेरे राइट साइड में वेदर बहुत खूबसूरत है और हम लोग वहीं पे जा रहे हैं जो है नुमरा वैली तो नुमरा वैली में हमें काफ़ी अच्छा वेदर मिलेगा और शाम को हमें सैंड ड्यून्स को जाना है वहाँ पे डबल हम कैमल्स पे सफारी करनी है वहाँ के सैंड ड्यून्स में और हुंदर जो है आपका कोल्डेस्ट डेजर्ट है जहाँ पे बैक्टीरियन कैमल्स मिलते हैं जो काफ़ी रेयर है इंडिया में तो सिर्फ वहीं पे मिलते हैं तो हमें वहाँ जाना है तो अभी यहाँ से तीन घंटे लगेंगे हमें पहुँचने में डिपेंड करता है रोड कैसा है तो आई थिंक गोइंग फॉरवर्ड रोड गोना बी बेटर वी कैन सी स्नो देर दैट्स खा डूंग टॉप वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज इट्स वेरी स्लाशी हेयर और पानी भी बहुत ठंडी है तो मैंने गम्बूट पहना नहीं है तो आई डोंट वॉन्ट माई फीट गो इन द वाटर बिकॉज अगर गया तो फिर जम जाएगी मेरे पैर की उंगलियाँ एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट बिकॉज मेरी हाथों की उंगलियाँ ऐसे जम चुकी है मैं कुछ फील नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ बिल्कुल भी इट्स वेरी पेनफुल बट आई लाइक इट फिर से देख सकते हो बर्फ मेल्ट होके नीचे आ रही है ये सारा स्नो है जो अभी आइस में कन्वर्ट हो चुका है और ये मेल्ट होके नीचे आ रहा है तो आप इमेजिन कर सकते हो कि पानी कितनी ठंड होगी और हम लोग यहाँ पे बाइक चला रहे हैं मतलब क्या एडवेंचर है ये वेल दिस इज इन सेन ऑफ रोडिंग आई एम डूइंग फ्रॉम पास्ट टू आवर्स विच इज लाइक फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स एंड आई हैव एंड सीन अ साइन ऑफ गुड रोड्स येट बट वी हैव गुड रोड्स बिफोर नुमरा सो आई थिंक मोर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स वी हैव टू राइड ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ रोड तो अभी मुझे लैंडमार्क की तलाश है मुझे पता करना है कि यहाँ से अभी नुमरा वैली कितनी दूर है और हम लोग जहाँ रहेंगे नुमरा वैली में उस जगह का नाम है हुंडर और हुंडर के पहले डिस्किट आएगा डिस्किट मॉनेस्ट्री जो बहुत ही फेमस है नॉर्थ पुल्लू दो किलोमीटर शायद तो वही नॉर्थ पुल्लू जो नीचे दिख रहे हैं वो छोटे से छोटे घर दिख रहे हैं आपके तो शायद दैट इज़ नॉर्थ पुल्लू वी क्रॉस साउथ पुल्लू समाइम बैक बिफोर खाडूंगा टॉप एंड इन अ वेरी रैपिड स्पीड वी आर डिसेंडिंग आर एट नॉर्थ पुल्लू and this is the second check post where we have to show the permit and uh, id cards namaste sir ji ye lijiye teen bike hai matlab teen jana hai bike number aapka k a k 03 Well, Hunder is 62 kilometers from here. If it is uh, 62, then uh, we will take one half hour to reach. So by 4:30 to 5, we will reach. <laughs>
was a diversion. One goes to Panamik and the other one goes to Diskit and uh, uh, Hundar. So we took left from the diversion and just check how beautiful this road is and check on my right and check on my left. Wow. Well, Diskit Monastery is uh, 15 kilometers away from here and Numra Valley is 23 kilometers. So I'm expecting that I will reach around 5.30 because right now it's 4.52 p.m. <laughs> We have just took a nice photograph uh, here. You can see the sand dunes on my right, and there is a, a spot where you can uh, go for ATV tour around this place and uh, have fun. <laughs> long ride from Khardungla, finally we reached Hundar and it looks so beautiful. I have mountains behind and also I can see dark clouds and it's looking really really bad on top of me. So now the plan is that we are going to take our ticket and we are going to see that it is very late. We are going to see that if we get a ticket, we will go to Camel Safari because I am very excited to go back to Camel Safari. So let's see what happens. much unfortunate right now because tickets are closed for uh, camel safari and I have got double hump camel here as you can see the hump one is here another one is here and they are the bacterian camel so we are asked to come tomorrow in the morning around nine o'clock so that uh, we can have a good uh, ride of a camel because right now time is 6.45 and uh, they close at 7 so there is no tickets available for uh, camel ride it, this place is so incredible man I'm just lost here sun is setting down right there and I'm just enjoying this amazing beauty of Hunter Valley from Hundar. Today is day 16th and the time is 6.15 a.m. in the morning. Well, last night we came uh, to Hundar around 5.30 p.m. in the evening and we booked this uh, beautiful campsite which you can see behind me. And after booking this we went to the sand dunes point and we tried getting uh, the camel ride which was uh, closed unfortunately for us because we reached very very late and we had a good time around the dunes and we came back this is our camp where we stayed last night and we have a small river flowing from the glacier and the water is very pure and clean and I love the soothing sound last night we had a such a wonderful sleep and in Hunda there's an issue with the electricity electricity comes at uh, 7 30 p.m. in the evening and goes off at 11 p.m. at night and the entire day 
you don't have the electricity here. Uh, the reason small village and they supply electricity uh, to the entire Numbra region, so they give a certain time to a certain location. Now I am going to have some tea. Well, this place is dining area where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We came here around 8:30 p.m. last night, and we had our food. We had our meal here. So we have to come around 7 to 8 in the morning to take our breakfast. As of now, it's not ready. So we're gonna get ready and come here because we have plans to go to sand dunes again and have a camel ride. Hopefully this time we can get the chance. Oh, thank you so much. I have got my tea here and thanks to the gentleman who Pour tea for me. This tea is incredible. I love it. Such a mountain tea. I love it. Well, I'm going to show you the entire place properly and also our tent from inside, which I couldn't show you last night. And this is the beautiful mountain behind me with some lovely trees. It's a beautiful backdrop and I am in love with this place and we have got sunshine as well because last night it was raining a bit. From inside this is the ziplock which secures your stay and one more ziplock we have so we have to open this so this is our beautiful tent I slept here it is in the middle and Rohit is still sleeping so we have our luggage kept here and well we have got a small window to check what's happening outside this is very cool and this is our washroom so first you need to zip open and we have a tap we have a toilet area we have a basin small window again for ventilation so this is the place we have a dining area और इस साथ में दूसरी जगह घूमे बहुत ही अच्छा डिनर है और अभी इन्होंने ब्रेकफास्ट रेडी कर रखा है यहां पे पोहा है और क्या है पूरी बाजी है टोस्ट है पोहा है चाय है तो काफी अच्छा ऑप्शन है यहां पे तो अभी मैं कंफ्यूज हो गया था देखते हैं अभी क्या खाता हूं और वो मैं जरूर आपको दिखाऊंगा and I'm back again here and our ride is getting ready and he will be taking us uh, in a bit and we have we have taken these three camels and it will be fun
done with the double hump camel ride and I'm very happy finally I made it and it was super fun. Now we are going back to our campsite and our next destination is Pangong Lake which you're gonna see in the next episode. So I'm going to end this episode uh, right here at this beautiful location of Hundar and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button and share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, love yourself and keep hopping.